And oh, welcome back to the hot lap. We've got IndyCar news here. And as you can see, the Indy 500 test has been rained off. Yes, no more tests, but let's get into it. So as rain showered, they continued to move um, on the 11th of April through the Indianapolis era on what was day two of the NTT IndyCar series test presented by a GameBridge Open Test at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I sound like, uh, yeah, well, there we go. So during day one on Wednesday, the Indianapolis 500 Rookie Orientation Program of Veteran Refresher Laps were completed along with veteran testing, combined 34 drivers in total, completing what was an absolutely, well, I think it's intense, but a 1,327 laps in sessions that featured adjusted times in anticipation of this weather. So teams are due to return to IMS from Friday the 10th of May for practice and qualifying ahead of the Sonzio Grand Prix on the Saturday, May the 11th. And that's on the road course. Now, practice for the 108th running of the Indianapolis 500 is scheduled to begin on May the 14th. That's Tuesday, May the 14th, with the race scheduled for Sunday, May the 26th. Um, Interestingly, though, the next event for the NTT IndyCar Series is on the Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach. And that is not this weekend, but next weekend. That will be Sunday, April the 21st. And we will have a preview for that. But who, pray tell, was fastest? Well, we've got here, it was Mr. Newgarden. He's fastest in this rain-shortened first day of the Indy 500 test Team Penske's Joseph Newgarden went quickest on that first day um, so the reigning Indianapolis 500 champion he nailed a flying lap of what was and I mean oh, these speeds are absolutely insane aren't they absolutely crazy um, a flying lap of 228.811 miles per hour around the two and a half uh, mile speed with super speedway carl larson the nascar cup series champion delivered a thrilling one of his own after putting his arrow mclaren chevrolet second on the time sheets albeit a couple of miles slower at 226.384 the california native is preparing for what is going to be his first start in as we know one of the greatest spectacles in racing as part of the memorial day double that also includes nascar 600 mile race at charlotte motor speedway on Sunday the 26th. Um, so let's have a look rundown. I'm, I'm assuming, no, they don't. They don't have an absolutely rundown. But Callum Eilot, who's substituting for the injured David Malo, um, Malukas, probably got that name wrong. I apologise, David. But he was the only other driver to stay in single digits with only eight laps run, with the number six from McLaren sitting 27th overall at 221.085. I mean, the issue is, because of the rain... And they got very, I mean, in terms of that, they didn't get as the practice that they wanted. So all teams are going to be running a compromised session. So we don't really know who is indeed going to be fastest for the Indy 500. So it's really tough to say at the moment who is looking good going into that end of May weekend. So we have, though. Long Beach to look forward to. And that's when we will be delivering our preview probably really early next week. I'd like to think it's going to be the Monday, potentially, Monday, potentially. Anyway, if you like what you see, please send us, give us a subscribe. We really, really appreciate that. Um, So stay tuned here for more IndyCar news. Thank you very much.